I guess I'm obviously back, so let's get through with this. Paul? Maybe it's not too late. Hawk, you can save him, can't you? I'm sorry, Meryl. Why did you run? You shouldn't have run! <laughs> there was nothing you could have done. He was more afraid of me than the Vatero. Is that really so surprising? Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerim and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... Something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. There's something wrong with this. So much treasure over here, though. Pile of treasure. Take it all. Cave spider, what do you got? Where is that deep mushroom? I think I missed it when I came down here. Oh, well, I have to go back, so I might as well look. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> what was he thinking? He acted like I was a monster. You are a monster. You're not helping. Good. Nope. I think there's enough, uh, Points on Fenris apparently. Kinda sucks. Get ready. Yep, knew they were gonna pop up. Fuck you. All of you. There they are. Abilities. Chilling down leaps between more enemies and, sta and strikes stagger foes uh, with further electrical damage. Electrical damage. Cool. Let's do it. I'm probably gonna end up respecting Hawk. Uh, or not Hawk. Yeah, my Hawk. But uh, Lilith. Um. At the end of this set, or soon, to match more within the character that I've designed for Lilith. Because honestly, she shouldn't really be able to use lightning spells if we're going with my story for her. Everyone looked at me in the camp when we arrived. What have they been saying about me? They must think I'm worse than the Blight. Kind of curious what they think, what they say about her too. Also, um... They had no reason to be afraid of me. None of this makes any sense. Hmm. Fair warning for those that want to, uh... Romance, uh... Isabella. It's impossible to do if you do that with... Ooh, nice. If you end up... If you sleep with Meryl, you would literally cut off the possibility of, uh... Continuing a relationship with... Uh, Isabella. I think it's something to do with them being friends. There we go. 
way. Turn that to fire. There we are. Go away. She needs health. Stop attacking her. See here, make sure I have everything. All right, it's so all of the resource materials in there. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Maybe I'll do a second quest, a secondary quest in this uh, set. We'll see about that. I may just do secondary and then finish off the main quest in the next set. It's not always fun and games on the sea, though. There are storms and hostile pirates, and it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months. You're a woman. Exactly. And I don't usually let them touch me, so they get frustrated. I insist all of them get alone time. Helps with the crankiness. They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone some more? Ah, <sighs> Meryl. What? Did I miss something? Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. <laughs> Meryl's so innocent, it's cute. Marthari, we have some talking to do. The Vartarol is dead. Maseranus. I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vartarol. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalem. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk, because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. I hope this helps you finish your work on the Alluvian. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. <laughs> and Finnis is not happy, of course. Thing is, he's never happy. I like the setup I have with my armor. It looks really cool. Well, not, you know, really, really cool, but it still looks actually pretty decent. Better than, uh, some mage armors I can think of from other games. Oh, well. 
Either way, it's cool. It reminds me. Not that thing about it. Look at it. It reminds me of Genesis's armor from. Uh, what you call it? Oh god, my mind's going blank. From. What was it? Crisis Core. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. There we go. Kind of has that feel to it, you know? Where's Meryl? There she is. Hello, Meryl. Hawk. I could never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. No one ever understood. Not the Keeper, not my clan. Just you. What can I say? I'd do anything to help someone as sweet as you, Meryl. You're too good to me. I don't deserve you. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Masaranus Lethalan. Oh, Hawk. Come in. I was just... Am I crazy? What? No, of course not. I thought the rule in a home would fix everything. The mirror would work and everything would be right again. But I keep dreaming of Paul's face. Everyone that I care for thinks I'm a monster. It's hard to imagine someone more lovable than you. That's so untrue. I can think of someone. I... You've been so good to me. I'll find a way to make this up to you, Lethalan. That's a promise. No, so cute. Alright. Let's go home, see what happens. There we are. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the Hanged Man. And I almost went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm rambling, aren't I? Why were you looking for me, Meryl? After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake... leaving the Dalish. You're just feeling homesick. Don't second-guess yourself. I suppose if I hadn't left my people... I never would have met you. I'm not like you. And I wish that I were. You're beautiful and clever and you never make any mistakes. And I... I don't deserve you. I'm not as perfect as you think, Meryl. I'm not some sort of goddess. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Some people worship you from afar, you know. It's foolish of me to even dream that you might. You don't have to dream about it. Meryl? It's all right. happens now? Are we... What did this mean? Now we both decide what happens next. If you hadn't come to Sandermount that day, I can't imagine where I'd be now. Ah, 
I love you. I probably shouldn't have said that, did I? I always say the stupidest things. Uh -oh. I love you, Mel. Actually, I was going to suggest you move in with me. Here? In Hightown? The rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. And you? With an elf. Ma Venon. You really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then neither am I. No, a cute. Poor Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. <laughs> All right then. Hello, Baskerville. Good boy. I get feeling she'll eventually uh, move in by the end of uh, the next set. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. Retrieve. What level am I right now, anywho? Level 16. Okay. Do I have anything new I can equip? No. But I will be able to equip some new stuff soon. I'll be able to equip you. Next level's gonna take you with me, so I'm about to level up. And you as well. Uh, stash courage. Put you away. Keep you. Keep you. Put you away. Hmm. Store all that. I accidentally bought that a while ago. Let's head out and sell some stuff. And there's Meryl's new outfit. I like it. And you and Varric. We're actually going to do... Um, a quest here in Hightown. For the matter. First I'm going to sell this, uh, some stuff though. <clears throat> Now there are, there's going to be one uh, uh, companion quest left over after this set. Um, it's not something I'm going to be able to do because it's, an, it's directly tied to a main story. So, yay, fun. Thumbs up. Isabella, got you back. Let's sell what we don't need. Right, I'm gonna keep the rest of the shield because, well, keepsake. So that. No, no. Nope. And all that. Oh. Nothing really worthwhile. Let's see what, let's see what this does. It's a good physical attack. Not really worth it, though. And I'm about to get better armor soon, so... Scroll that. Alrighty. I really do like her white armor. This place is so dismal. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Yep, family matter. Alright. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm reading ahead again. Checking my checklist. Last one to strike buys the drink. Hiya. Alright, let's do this quickly. Turn those off so I can recast them. Ha! 
Everyone has the effect. There we go, much better. Now everyone's protected. And powerful. Hello, Meryl. She has my back. There's one. Thank you, Meryl. Alright, let's go. Yeah, to the, uh, to Bartrand's estate. <laughs> I remember this quest. Uh, this is gonna be funny. That's gonna be interesting. I'm kinda curious about some stuff. Oh well. We'll find out in a moment. Right. And right again, and up these stairs. Have to have Varric in our party here. Right, let's save. So apparently, Aveline is not romanceable, even though you can flirt with her. This house looks abandoned. I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This. Looks like it's been empty for months. This is still our best lead. We might find something that'll take us to Bartrand. My thoughts exactly. You know, I think that armor that um, Meryl got is actually uh, reminiscent of her armor that she wore in Origins. Because I do remember it being white. At least I think it was because of a screen cap that I saw of it. I heard from uh, Origins. Not having such on that, of course. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. Why is it nobody ever sees half of the Let's dance, you sons of bitches! Two on a piece! One hit killing everything here. Do, do, do. I feel like I'm uh, playing Scarface the game right now. Yeah, I'm not taking any damage. Any damage it takes, you know, just minimal. You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? 
I'll give you the gory details. <laughs> so much fun. Alright, now I gotta go through it real, for real now. There we are. Oop, switch back to Hawk. There we go. And now I have to recast my spells. All right, now we're good. Nope. Sap. Kind of curious how the romance is going to work now that uh, Meryl's going to move in with me. They were completely out of their heads. Or if she is, I'm not even sure if she is. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Damn. Crazy commander. Now we fight. Rain down fire. White arc. There we go. Bye bye. We good? We good. All right, onwards. That was an accident. Do you realize there's a trap there? Well, now I know. Okay. Yay, more! Fuck you guys. Pull them up. There you go. It lights the place up. Yeah. Kill these crazed motherfuckers. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Loot. There's one person in here. Well, there was. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Back door, anything in here? Bartrand, uh. what have you done? I can't do that. Beric, thank you. <clears throat> Alright, let's go outside then. Now right here. Everyone stay still and try not to make any loud noises. More traps. Disarm. Fireball. Well, this isn't a place full of, you know, crazed mages or anything like that. So I might as well count our blessings for that. Get kind of tired of them. Bye. Ooh. Isabella. Nope. 
all of you the fuck up. Nope. Sorry. Just right here. If they're stupid enough to try and attack right here, might as well. Kill all of you motherfuckers. Fireball. Come on. Where is he? I'm out of, I'm out of uh, magic. Whoops. That's the first time I've actually run out of magic. Is that you? Praise the ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Eric, your brother. That statue he brought out at the Deep Roads. Bartrand said it sang to him, even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. Everything will be all right. You're safe now. I wish I'd believed that, human. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. I'll do that in a second. First, let's see what's around here. Belt of the Primals. Cool. Sounds wicked. Anything around here? He's just walking off. Right here. Silver at reinforced buckles. That is for Varric. <laughs> Not really sure what it gives him, but it gives him something. Be careful. Ah, great. Raise some lightning on these guys. See if we can find. There he is. He went invisible for on us. Yes. Oh, I can't freeze his ass either. Damn it. Come on, die. There he goes. I can't. I can't hear it anymore. I just need to hear the song again. Just for a minute. Stop saying that. I know I shouldn't have sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake. A mistake. Parchment, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Eric, you'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You're always a good one. Help you. Bartrand, you left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? You've already beaten him. Don't lose your head. I just... I want to know why. Why'd you do it, Bartrand? Were you already crazy before we even went into the deep roads? Or was it all the statue? I know. Not a statue. It wants to be worshipped. It wants me. It wants me back. She stole it from me. For this. Bartrand was a bastard when he sealed us in the deep roads. But he wasn't a madman. Bloody ancestors. Why bring me this close and still nothing? For three years, all I've wanted is to look him in the eye and get his answers. Why he abandoned us in that tyke. What any of this was for. I guess there's nothing he could say that would make it right. You don't want to do this, Varric. You're not the sort of man who'd kill his own brother. No. I've been counting the days until I could put a bolt in his conniving little brain. It's not just us. Look what he did out there. 
How many more people will die for his folly? He's clearly past saving. Make it clean. I wish I could have done it before I had to see you like this. Goodbye, Bartrand. sad. Oh well. Boots of the o uh, Overseer. That is the next set we have. Are they any better? Hmm. Nope, not even close. What's he look like though? Same boots that I currently wear. There are the armor makes that effect. Yeah, the armor makes the effect. Eh. Alrighty then, let's go. Anything else? You kind of phased into the ground there. No, don't see anything else. Let's go. Town. All right, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> but this is going to be it for this set because we got done with all the uh, quests that we need. Everything else is secondary and main. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Something on your mind, Varric. I should thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but... That was still the hardest thing I've ever done. He was never what you'd call nice. Or pleasant. Or hygienic. But he was my only brother. He was obviously suffering. You spared him a lot of misery. I hope you're right. I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone, or hang around singing hymns with Andraste, or what. I just hope wherever he is now, Bartrand stays out of trouble. Any idea what really went on with him and that statue? Well, the thing must be cursed. I don't know if it's magic, or demons, or the bile of the ancestors, but I think curse about covers it. If we're lucky, whoever he sold it to had the damn thing melted down for scrap. If you're worried about it, we could ask one of the priests to pray for him. I'm pretty sure any decent priest who prays for Bartrand would burst into flames. <gasps> but that's awful. I had no idea priesthood was so dangerous. Don't worry, Daisy. The Chantry keeps a lot of water on hand. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. Idiot thugs and their gangs. Always round. Oh, this still worries a little bit. We have one last quest we need to turn into real quickly, and then we are done. Let's stop by Fenner's house because it's quicker. We also want to stop by Lowtown to get a spindleweed. And yeah, everything else is pretty much uh, no quest stuff. Or, no, no quest. Well, a few of them are, but everything, all the other resource materials are inside a quest somewhere. Alright. But we won't go to Hangman because Varric should have a, a, uh, another quest for us or something. If not, I'll just turn right around and, uh, yeah. Let's go check out some of these uh, crafting recipes I got. Like Mythal's favor, I'm curious about that. Yeah, there it is. Hello, Varric. Come on, you two. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. 
They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Strange that people would get such an idea out of the blue. I may have embellished a detail or two here and there. A little. And added a few things that didn't happen. For pacing, you understand. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. And exactly how many taverns have heard this particular story? I only frequent the nice ones. Where it goes afterward is anybody's guess. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. No, I just need sweet. Alright, so that's going to be it for set 5. Everything else is going to be secondary and... After that main. You and Hawk. Hmm? Something's there, isn't there? She's so amazing and beautiful. How could anyone not love her? Oh, I could give you a list, but that might just bore you. So, did you get naked? Isabella. Oh, look at that blush. That good, huh? <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Let's Play. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and please feel free to like. It really does help me out. I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye!